Tonight's video is going to be on Cordoba Strata, which is the second of four parts in Bajlino's uh, sword and large buckler section in the uh, sharp sword part of the book. This is the shortest one. We'll see some things look pretty familiar, some things are a bit new. Some of these are defenses against provocations. Some of these are more mezzo tempo actions. So I'm going to start with the us, the protagonist here. We're going to press to see what our adversary does. They can either step back, stay in place, or we're going to provoke them to attack. In this case, we're going to propose that they thrust and cut a mandrito to the high line. Whether that's squadimbro or fendente, doesn't really matter. So in the first case, we're going to start by gathering in. They're going to thrust and cut. So we press against the thrust. We are going to step in to Chingyale. Now as the preferably or most likely a quite vertical mandrita is coming in, we're going to lead with the pulse edge, clearing it to their inside. We're going to bring our Buckland defensive ahead as we step around and throw a Uriverso to their thigh and then leave in the usual way. And again, I'm pressing in, defending against the thrust, beat the cut, slice the leg, and thrust to keep them away. So that was chapter five, chapter four. Chapter 5 gives us three more. All these are thrusts, and then it's either a cut high, right, or reverso high or low. So against the, to draw the mandrito, I'm going to bring my left foot behind using a mezzo mandrito. I'm going to use faccia, dabbing okis faccia, against the mandrito, and I'm going to make one adjustment here to what I do after that. So we're pressing in, they're going to thrust, they're going to beat it with a true wrench. The blunder comes in, step towards the attack using Pedagogi Sacha. Now from here, there's the assumption they are pushing back across the line, which will allow us to throw a reverso. Now, Machulino says to the leg. We haven't settled on a good way to do this yet. So we're going to do the one thing we do, and we're going to do the thing we know how to do, which is a reverso to the head. So let's say reverso stramazone, just like we do in the uh, place the cross swords. So let's do this again. So we defend against the thrust. Step forward against the Madrito as they push across, we'll let go, yield, and strike to the head. But star, the actual one is going to the leg, which is hard to figure out how to do safely. Next up, we have thrust followed by a reverso to the head. So here we are going to step forward with this Madrito, bring us to Chingyale. And then as the reverso comes, we're going to pick it up with testa and strike to the leg with a madrito. So over here, press, step across, pick it up, yield, and cut the leg, and then leave. So press, send, pick it up, cut, press. And get out. If instead it was a reversal to the leg, we're going to use the tried and true redoppio to deal with it. So we're starting the same sequence of actions. Instead, they go here to the inside of our leg. We defend that with the true wrench. What that would we call a reversal redoppio, the number eight cut, and thrust to the face or leg. Chapter six is a Defense against a straight attack. First intention, in this case, a mandrito to the head. 
The assumption here is that they're attacking in a wrong way because I'm going to be trying to hit their hand, which means that they must be attacking in a way that their hand is past their buckler. So, not a huge fan of doing things where it's assumed the attacker is wrong, but here we're assuming that they are doing something such that their hand is exposed. So if that is the case, we're going to strike the hand and then come back to guard. So from Korunga Strata to Chingyana, back to Korunga Strata. Chapter 7 is two more normal attacks. The first one is any attack, with again the assumption that they are doing something wrong and that their hand is exposed. So as that attack comes in, whatever it is, we're going to throw a horizontal falso, so a horizontal tondo, striking the hands, and then I get out as usual. Because it's not a great place to, to hang out. So here, attack comes in, strike, and then get out. Finally, we have a madri to the leg. Uh, there are two options, two ways of doing this. One is how Machini describes it, where we go into the defense. Two is how Dalla Kokosha, which is going around with the defense. So as the Mandarita comes in, we're going to, not quite the you know, step in with the false edge, trade, cut the leg, and get out with our thrust. So that feet, I'm stepping in, and slicing the leg. Based on what we know from Dalagokia, we could simply keep rotating to the inside with this defense. So then when the root to the leg comes, we pick it up this way, and cut that way, and get out as we continue to move to the inside. So here, bend, trade, cut, and I keep rolling to the inside. So two clearly distinct ways of doing the exact same thing. One towards the attack, one away from the attack. So next video we'll be looking at Cinghiale Portofiero.